This is a video for 3T Vivio. It's about chapter 9 solving equations. In this video I will explain paragraph 9.3 and that is about exponential and square root equations. At first I will explain a little bit about the what are the exponential equations and then I will give you two examples. And then uh, at the end I will explain what are square root equations and again two examples. What are exponential equations? Um, you can talk about an exponential equation when the variable is in the exponent of the power. Now, again, um, this is a power, as you know. So 3 by the power of 5 is my example. The whole thing is called a power. So this whole thing is a power. And then this little thing over here, let me use another color. This little thing is called the exponent. And then this this big number, that's called the base. Now, the variable needs to be in the exponent, and then you can talk about exponential equations. So, for example, there's an x or an a or a c, there's a letter in it. Uh, you can have x plus 5 or 5x, whatever. And then the base is always this big number, and this is important to know uh, because you have to make a table of the base. I will explain it later. Okay, let me start with an easy example. 3 by the power of 2x equals 81. At first, you have to determine if this is an exponential equation. Is the letter in the exponent of this power? Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to handle this uh, equation as an exponential equation. Um, you have to look at the base. The base is 3, and then you have to make uh, the table of the base number. I always uh, already made preparation here. Um, at first it's a little bit annoying because it's a lot of work, but you will get the hang of it. So you have to make a table um, for each different base number. Okay, here we go. Uh, the power, for example, 3 by the power of 1, 3 by the power of 2. And so the first one, you know, 3 by the power of 1 is 3. 3 by the power of 2 is 3 times 3 is 9. And this is times 3 again, so that's 27. And this is times 3 again, so that's 81. And then perhaps it will be a little bit more difficult. What you can do is you can use your calculator. 3 by the power of, and then you use this button, this one, by the power of, and then you can see the cursor goes up, and then you press 5, is 243. Okay. Let me do it again. Okay, the table is done, and this is how it works. You have to make sure that on this side, you only have the power. So there's nothing in front of it or behind it. For example, 5 times, and then this, or 5 plus, and then this. So it's only the power, okay? That's the case. And then you look at this number. This number needs to be in your table of the base number, which is 3. You can also make a table of the base number 4, with all 4s here. But then this has to be 4, of course. But now it's 3. So let me look. I guess this is 81, so that's here. So I can rewrite 81 as 3 by the power of 4. Let me do that. This stays the same, and 81, I'm going to change it into 3 by the power of 4. Okay, now the base numbers are the same, and what I can do now, I can make a new equation with only the exponents, so this and this. The new equation is 2x equals 4. Which means that the base numbers, I can stripe it away because they are the same. It's kind of a trick here. Okay, so 2x is 4. Kind of easy to solve. Balance method. Divide by the number in front of the letter. Divided by 2 on this side. Divided by 2 on this side. So I guess x is 2. And done. Two examples of exponential equations. This is the first example and I already prepared my table. Now, um, this one looks a little bit different because there's something here. Two times and then the power. Um, what I need to do first before I can start with my table is I have to do the balance method because this two needs to be away. So because there's times, I'm just going to do the opposite of times. That's divided by. Divided by two on this side, divided by two on that side. So then a two is gone and I only have the power on the left side. And this divided by two is 243. Now um, I made my preparations and now I can make the table of the base number. Okay, I just made the table real quick. 
uh, table is uh, done. And now I can just look at this number. I'm going to rewrite it. Let me check if I find I can find that number in this table. Yes, it's here. So I'm going to rewrite it as 3 by the power of 5. This stays the same. And this is 3 by the power of 5. Okay, good. The base numbers are the same. So I'm going to stripe away the base numbers. And I'm going to just make a new equation. Can you see it? Which is x plus 1 equals 5. Almost done, balance method, you know how it works. I just do the opposite, minus one on this side, minus one on that side. So x is four. If you want to be 100% sure, you can of course fill in the four in this original equation. If I fill in four, four plus one is five, three by the power of five is 243, times two is indeed 486. Okay, done. Here's the second example of exponential equations. The variable is in the exponent of this power, so yes, it's an exponential equation. Um, before I uh, can start, I have to do a balance method, uh, because this minus 2 has to be gone. So this becomes 4 by the power of x minus 3 equals 64. Okay, now on the left side is only a power, that's what I want, and now can I can have a look at the base number. The base number is 4 which means I'm going to make a table of the base number with the base number 4. Okay, table is done. And now I can have a look at 64. I am going to look for that number in this table. Yes, it's here. I'm going to rewrite 64 as 4 by the power of 3. 4 by the power of 3, and this one stays the same. Okay, now the base numbers are the same, so I can just stripe away the base numbers. And then a the new equation is x minus 3 equals 3. And now I can do balance method to find out what x is. Opposite, so this is minus 3, I'm going to do plus 3, plus 3, and then x is 6. And this is done. What are square root equations? In square root equations, the variable is inside the square root. Um, so this is an example. This is the square root, and you can see that the x, so that's the variable, is inside of the square root. Sometimes you have it outside. So for example, 3x plus square root 16. Then there's no variable in the square root. It's just square root 16. And the variable is outside of the square root. So that is not a square root equation. Um, now, this is my example. Um, and what is really important here is that you finish the square root with this little thing at the end. Because sometimes you have uh, letters or numbers here and outside of the square root, for example, plus one. And then it's not, sometimes it's not clear um, if the plus one is in the square root or outside. For example, if plus one is written here. Okay, so make sure you finish the square root. With this kind of equations, it's handy to make a list. Let's do it. Okay, this list is very handy. Um, now we're going to use it. Make sure there's nothing before the square root or after the square root. Okay, now that's the case. And this uh, number, I always I can find it in my list. 5 is, I can rewrite it as square root 25. I'm going to do that. This stays the same. And I'm going to rewrite 5 as square root 25. Now I have square roots on both sides and nothing on the outside of the square roots which means I can stripe away the square roots on both sides. Then this leftover is what is inside the square roots. This is a new equation. I'm going to solve it by doing balance method. Minus 24 here, minus 24 there. Don't forget this minus. And this is 1. Divide by minus 7 and divide by minus 7. It will be negative and it will be 1 seventh. That's it. And here are two examples. 3 square root 4x plus 9 equals 6. Um, first, I have to take away the 3 here. I'm going to do that by doing the opposite of times, because there's a times here. So divided by 3 here and divided by 3 here. 4x plus 9 is left over, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. I'm going to look at the list if I can find 2. Yes, it's here. I can rewrite 2 as square root 4. Now 
Now I have two square roots, so now I'm going to take away the square roots, and then the leftover is 4x plus 9 equals 4. I can do balanced methods, so I'm going to do minus 9 here and minus 9 there. Divided by 4 on both sides. If you don't want to do the red um, part, then you can just um, leave it out, it's fine. Uh, minus 5 divided by 4, I always find it handy to make a fraction of it, and then I just take out the whole numbers. Minus 1, 1 fourth. And the last example. Uh, first I have to make sure on the left side is only a square root. I'm going to do balance method. First minus 8. Leftover is 2 square root x and minus 8 is 14. And then I'm going to do divided by 2. And that's of course 7. Okay, now I'm going to have take a look at my list and I can see that 7 is square root 49. So I'm going to rewrite, this is the same of course, and rewrite 7 as square root 49. On both sides I have square roots so I can just make a new equation and that's x is 49. Uh, it's already done, usually you have to do balance method here, uh, but now it's just uh, done. Hey, uh, this was a video about paragraph 9.3, exponential and square root equations. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.